How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. And I'm John from Running Warehouse. And today we are going to be giving you our full review of the new Hoka Skyflow. Now Hoka has had its ups and downs over the years, but now in 2024, we've been seeing home run after home run. We've seen innovative shoes like the Skyward X. We've seen highly cushioned racers like the Cielo X1 and even versatile performance trainers like the Mach 6. Really all this excitement comes down to the midsole compound and we see some of that innovation trickle on over to the Skyflow. Yeah, Connor, I've, I've had a chance to run in all those shoes this year and they've been amazing. So I was really excited and curious to see if Hoka is gonna continue that momentum in the Skyflow. And after getting about 40 miles in my pair, I would say this fits really nicely in that line that you just talked about, where you've got the Mach 6 for those faster efforts, the Mach X for maybe more premium, versatile, fast shoe. Then you've got the Cielo X1, Skyward X for ultimate comfort. And this is gonna sit nicely as that daily training shoe that gives that elevated underfoot experience for high mileage runners. Yeah, and a lot of that comfort and magic feel is gonna come from the midsole. And we've got full length supercritical EVA that runs throughout the length of the shoe. This is gonna be the same compound that we see in the Mach 6, but I felt like in this shoe, it feels a little bit softer. It definitely feels more plush underfoot. We've got 38 mils in the heel, 33 in the forefoot for a five mil drop. This is just a soft cushion shoe, really good dampening properties, a little bit of bounce at toe off, maybe not the fastest shoe, but uh, a really nice experience. Yeah, I mean, you really said how I felt running in the shoe. The plushness really stood out to me. It was really soft at step in, and then when you take it on the run, it has a nice compression to it, but it doesn't sink in in a way that feels like it doesn't respond well. I felt that it responded very well uh, at any pace, whether I was going for easier efforts. I did have a 13 mile progression run that I mixed in marathon effort at, and I was surprised with the pop that I felt from the midsole. And again, that goes to that nice super critical EVA. Again, it's not the shoe that I would choose for my speediest workouts, but I really like the versatility that the Skyflow provided and it just really enhanced every run that I went on. Yeah, I feel like versatile, highly cushioned is a great way to explain what this shoe is all about. I think daily training and long runs was where it really shined from that just pure cushioning experience, but it did have enough pop to when I wanted to pick up the pace, especially in some more progressive daily training runs where I got down mid 630s, maybe even down in the low six minute range, it still popped pretty nicely. Now, moving on down to the outsole, we do see a lot of similarities here to the Skyward X, a very similar shaping in the outsole. And then of course, we've got that midfoot cutout that forks in the forefoot. You've also got some very similar geometries, a lot of inspiration to the Skyward X, but also its own unique feel. For sure, and in terms of durability, I've got 40 miles on my shoes, so obviously not a Great test case, however, the rubber looks brand new, which is always great to see in a premium daily trainer. There is a little bit of wear and tear on the exposed outsole, but that does appear to be cosmetic. So hopefully this shoe's got the durability that we would want in a premium daily training shoe. Yeah, now moving on up to the upper, we've just got a simple jacquard mesh. It had all the support you need for any distance, nice heel lockdown, and really nice through the midfoot. Really my only issue with this shoe came in the forefoot, pretty small, but I just felt in these two little spots in that forefoot, it was a little tight, maybe just a little snugger to my liking on initial try on. Once I started running, I really didn't notice it, but uh, maybe for that next version, some improvement, maybe just a few millimeters out in these two key areas. Yeah, if there was any negativity I would say about the shoe, I would say the upper, like you said, was simple. And for me, for a $160 premium daily trainer, I don't want simple. I do want a more premium softness to it. However, it is comfortable. It's pretty breathable. I did feel a little hot at times, and I do agree in the forefoot, it did feel a little bit more snug. However, it didn't cause any hot spots or blisters, and it definitely didn't deter me from lacing this shoe up. I really did enjoy putting these on before every run. Yeah, and I mean, you're right. We put a good amount of miles on these very quickly. Oftentimes we get shoes. It takes a few weeks to get in our adequate miles, but this was the shoe we both reached for day in and day out because it just feels so nice. I'd say it's in a very similar category to 
an Asics Nimbus, a Saucony Triumph, something with a high level of cushioning underfoot, a little bit more of a modern foam that has a little bit of pop. Um, but I think this shoe is a shoe that I'm even liking maybe a little bit more than those. Yeah, I would agree. I found this to be more versatile than the Nimbus and also more uh, energetic than the Triumph. So this is a shoe in that category that I would choose. And I would also say overall, I was a little curious as to how this would fit with the Skyward X because I loved that shoe so much and I thought maybe this would feel like a, a cheap version of that. But this really stands out on its own and it really does complement a shoe like the Skyward that is definitely for ultimate comfort. This has a little bit more versatility and can do a little more things. And I think ultimately the runners who are gonna really love this are people like you and I who put in heavy mileage throughout the week and people who are training for races all the time. They're gonna really like racking up miles in the Skyflow. Yeah, I mean, overall the Hoka Skyflow is really raising Hoka to the next level. They now have just great shoes in every silo really nice feeling foams. Everything about this shoe is what I look for in a highly cushioned daily trainer, and I'm sure it's gonna be a shoe I continue to rack up the miles in. If you're looking to get the Hoka Skyflow on your own feet, you'll be able to find it here at Running Warehouse.